20, uh, about 20, 20 again. That's some crazy, crazy stuff you do, man. I don't know how you're doing. That many, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm now I see why your kid helps you and you got a couple of other, uh, 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 helpers too to help you uh navigate through all that hey my game rihanna how you doing what's going all on and tag yeah yeah sure whatever dude whatever danny i know you're hey, in danny, so where are you, where are you at boston yeah he, 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 yeah he posted a picture so who knows who, who knows where he is and it, it's probably still in boston he has to be up there uh how was your trip to dc my migration list for after work tomorrow. Can't afford to buy unless Bugo half price. I, I I know you got that right. What's up, my man? How you doing? I I did get it, but the, as soon as I was ready to click on it, my wife texted me and asked me for the Paramount Plus password. <laughs> uh, do you mind sending that to me too? <laughs> <laughs> I'll send you the. Uh, which one I could send you? Tubi, is it? You got Disney Plus, don't you? <laughs> yes, yes, I do. Yeah. <laughs> I'll send you the Tubi password. All right. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, How I you have a. Uh, of course, I got Disney Plus, man. I, I got to watch uh, uh, Star Wars as much as I can. So that's my getaway, uh, uh, my stress. When I need to get my stress out of the way, that's what I go for. So, mm -hmm. D-Dub, how you doing? Mandalorian. A what? The new season of Mandalorian. I still haven't yeah. watched it. Yeah, mm. I think uh, we watched the first three episodes and then uh, we haven't gone back. Uh, it's just too much crazy stuff going around, you know. Mm -hmm. I'm either uh, I got some free time in the afternoon, but I don't want to watch by myself. I want Alice to watch with me. So yeah. you know, it's just one of uh, one of those deals. Oh, he's in Boston now. Niagara Falls tomorrow. Wow. Cruise vet said he wants to get on too. Yes, let me uh, let me look him up and send him the uh, link. Hello, 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 hello. I, I'm hitting Danny also. Danny, I'm sending you the link too in case. Okay, this is just beer tonight, Mike. It's not. It's not four types of liquor and two mixers. All right. <laughs> sure. Anything after nine o'clock. No, o seriously, that's what. That's why I'm like all calm and cool, and I'm not telling anybody I love them because it's just beer. <laughs> You're not there yet. <laughs> Can't get there with beer. Well, I, I never really cared too much for beer. Yeah. Myself, give me some uh, rum, and well, now we're talking. You know. Yeah, Jennifer, what's going on? Where are you, Mike? Hi, Jennifer. Where are you? Oy vey. Hold on, let me. Uh, oh, um, I love, I love it. I love it. I knew it would have to happen sooner or later. Do you see the comment from Laurie Barber? What happened? What she put? Had to happen sooner or later. My sunglasses. Are you not in the USA? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's not. <laughs> he's saying incognito from someplace else. Hi, Mr. Oh, Brian. Your uh, the link is sent. Will G, thanks for coming in. Yo, 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 Will G, what's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? Jennifer, you want to come in to T Dub? Anybody who wants to uh, pop in? Let me know. Want to see that? Oh, uh, they went to see the new Flash Marvel movie. Hmm, interesting. It might oh, be. I, uh, I already, I already the have the new world. Flash movie on my Plex server, so I share that password out to you, Eddie, and you can watch, you can watch one of the five thousand movies I have on my Plex server. Okay. Send that on my uh, uh, messenger. You just have to create. You just have to create a Plex, a free Plex account at Plex.tv, and then tell me what your username is, and I'll share it. Sweet. Very nice. Very nice of you. Is well, that gee, the band from you. David Letterman? What's he talking about? Uh oh. He, he the, said master, was, uh, the master of disaster oh, scene. Oh, look who it is. Jeremy, I, I haven't seen you in so long, man. How I know, you? right? It's been forever. <laughs> uh oh. We got somebody else. Who else is coming? Damn. 
Cruise now, Day. There he is. I am, I am other clients. Cruise Day. Do you not go to Best Buy? Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, me being the, the computer illiterate person, you know, uh, I'm not up on all the. Listen, I don't know you, but I know you know well, I, more than the sales guy at the computer department at Best Buy. Prob well, I and mean, I appreciate the compliment. Uh, that's that's good for you to extend me that much credit. Uh, yep. Well, but I don't want to buy like a used one or a refurbished. I did that once before on a laptop, right. and that didn't work out very well right. for me. Hey, Mike, you, you never would guess what happened on the show this morning. I, I could not remember the name of the restaurant in which you and me and. Um, oh, uh, Embarkation. Jennifer Embarkation and Andrew, yeah, yeah. Um, we ate at. Couldn't Willie remember. Turner. Willie G's and Will G was the one that reminded me of Willie G's. Well, there you go. There you yes. Go. <laughs> Makes sense. I thought that that was kind of cool. Yes, yes, very nice. Oh, there you go, Scott. One more for you. Yeah, I think I've I've reached the end of my usefulness for this desktop. Well, well I, I mean, I'm not sure. I'm not sure I have to explain editing. that, do I? Oh, you know, like how do I have to explain that? It's they're mirror lens sunglasses. Yeah, <laughs> prescription glasses anyway. So you know. The prescription, yeah, the prescription. I need them to see, otherwise, you know, I wouldn't have been able to read your comment. And I and I uh, and I tell you, I would rather watch you in those sunglasses, prescription sunglasses, because I seen you with your regular glasses, and they're like looking like two bottom bottles, you know. I know, right? I got it. I know, right? Yep. So, you know, like I'm definitely more videogenic with my sunglasses on than I am when I am with these damn things, right? So for sure. Sherry, so, welcome. Now in. my secret's out. <laughs> Corona. I drank a lot of those in my in my time. Room for one more. Because I'm I'm, yes, I'm boycotting Bud Light. So. Oh wait a minute. There you go. Right here. It is always cool to wear shades at night. Uh, the tea was almost as crowded as the New York City subway, but without the rats. Oh, so he's so funny. He's so funny. <laughs> Not you so funny. Let me look for uh, uh, Mr. Randy's uh, uh, messenger here so I can send him the link. Rose. <laughs> Jordy on Star Trek. Oh my God. That's crazy. I'll take that. I, I'm streaming this to my audience with the name Guys Night. Oh, uh, okay. Really? Are you? <laughs> 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 Why not? <laughs> I'm I'm in is the mustard drill, but I'm not streaming it. So I'm streaming it to my uh, channel. Yeah. It says late night with the pineapple cruise crew. Oh wow. <laughs> pineapple That's cruise right. crew. A pineapple. Hold on. I gotta get I gotta get mine. Uh oh. He's getting ammunition. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> so my daughter went to a uh Girl Scout this weekend at uh it's in Wildwood, New Jersey. Mm. And I guess it has a uh carnival area. So uh she she won a a uh, pineapple <laughs> animal. Nice. <laughs> picture of it sent it to me. <laughs> oh, Lord Jones. So he likes Jordy on. He's like Jordy on Star Trek. Come on, Lord Jones. You want to come up in the in the panel? Come on, Lord Jones. Let's see you. Come on. You want to come in? I'll send you. Uh, send you the link. I'll be right back. That's what Eddie has has it named. <laughs> what are you talking about? Uh oh, <laughs> Danny. Uh... Look at Ross. <laughs> well, well, why am I thinking of M I B? Yeah. <laughs> They're about to bring the thing go. Look at the look at the light. 
<laughs> and everybody goes, ah. <laughs> Problem is, I can't read anything or type. <laughs> you kind of look like Ronald Reagan, too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he kind of did. Yeah. Look at him. <laughs> That's good for trouble. <laughs> <laughs> oh my lord I just can't find my thug life glasses I have those too look at that don't knock it till you have tried it uh, pineapple squat night mmm Chris knows what are you talking about <laughs> what are you talking about try what <laughs> the pineapple juice uh, drink that um, that, that the uh, John the bartender made uh, I thought he meant something else I was gonna say, wait a minute. What's what's that what's, was? What are you trying to say? That was my understanding. The bottle of thickness. No looking forward to it. Uh, no, Laurie. No. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna try to go with uh, Jeremy's ex explanation of it, but uh, no. Laurie <laughs> says no thanks. <laughs> he don't wanna. He don't wanna be seen. But I oh, have an answer to my question from this afternoon. Uh oh. So, if you're drinking pineapple juice and you're the pineapple king, wouldn't that be considered cannibalism? No. It'll be giving me more juice power. <laughs> more juice power. <laughs> as as uh, Clock, he could tell you. Clock is a, a world venture when it comes to pineapples. You know, he puts uh, pineapples on, on doors. And I, then I get blamed for it, so... I just I get framed know. for it. Yeah, I get blamed for everything. I don't know why. <laughs> this looked hey, like Mike. a face of a person that would just hang uh, pineapples on people's doors. There's no reason for it. What are you pointing to me for? No, nah, if you look at the screen, <laughs> oh, so, I'm oh. clock. so Alice put the pineapples on doors. I got you. So I Mike, is, 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 is was that Alice Lugo Studios? Yes. <laughs> That just dropped today, guys, by the way. <laughs> I quit. <laughs> well, I mean, if you guys have been messing with pineapples. I think it's time for you to graduate to flamingos. Mm. Oh, yeah. I, and I got a hat coming. I got me a hat, too. So, you know, when, when we're hanging around, uh, running around in, the, in a golf car, either in Costa Maya or Costa Maya somewhere, I mean, I could tell you guys, you really should actually escalate it even further and uh, do the villages and uh, end up putting out the Luffy sponge. Mm -hmm. No, 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 no. Next time I go to Grand Turk, I'm definitely running a golf cart, though. Yes. So <laughs> last couple of times I've been there, I've just been like walking around. Yeah. So I'm definitely getting a golf cart next time. Click. It's fun to my who stepped away? Who stepped away? Nobody stepped away. Still, still here. Randy, I sent you the uh, the link on your messenger uh, through Facebook. So look it up. Uh, we are in bed. Or I would come up. It's late over here on the East Coast. Excuse you. It's only 1018, Poppy. Mm -hmm. What are you talking about? It's late. Who's saying that? Oh, Danny. He's just from Oklahoma. That's why. <laughs> he's, uh, he's, uh, he doesn't have a, he's no, don't have any permission. From uh from his uh, wife now, so that's why he's he's crying. Yeah, he's in the East Coast now, but he lives in Oklahoma, so he's whining out. The Hidden Creek Homestay, how you doing? Welcome, welcome. Hey, anyway, you. We haven't seen John. You know, John. Who? Which John? You haven't seen in a while. John, 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 John. Okay, I dropped the link. I did. I sent. Say one. Randy, I did send that on Messenger, so let me let me do it again. Let me send that again. And I hope it's the right one. So, I mean, I see your logo here. It should, it should be. It should be. Otherwise, uh, another run is going to pop in and say, uh, hey, what's going on? Who's this? Who who be calling me? And to be brought up to a panel. Hey, Will from uh, uh, Danny. Danny is uh, uh, Danny's, uh, a little puppy right now. Where do I hear your echo? Somebody has yeah, so one of you guys have, have a different uh, 
Oh, Ross. I know it has to be Ross. Has, Ross has to hear me loud, loud and clear. I'm going to hang out, hang, hang as long as I can. I have to be out of the house at 8.30 in the morning Eastern. Lori, I'm the same boat. I'm going to get blood work done at 8 o'clock tomorrow morning. I did today. I got uh, some blood work. I mean, not blood work. I donated blood today, and it took a lot. What do you mean it is late, uh, Sherry? It's only 10.20. That is early. On a Friday night, it's early. Sorry, mm -hmm. that's why our us guys are here. You got a problem with that? <laughs> Come on, show up, show up in the thing. Wasabi, yeah. hello. I have no idea which chat you are, but uh, welcome in. And uh, you're probably in clocks, uh, 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 hashtag clock, and then your uh, <clears throat> your link will show up in the chat. Hey to all on the phone, Kentek. Uh, you sound like somebody I know. Um, <laughs> and it's custom for the Boost Cruise will be a toga made of brown fishnet over a <laughs> yellow spandex but, <laughs> and a tall green crown, the Pineapple King. <laughs> he does have a yellow bodysuit. I've seen it on the uh, Vloggers Cruise. He was uh, sleeping in that at night. That, that's, that's not a good visual. Uh, uh, no, it wasn't. It That's right. Made me, uh, have Appreciate nightmares. you helping me for this other mic. He's the one wearing the stuff. He's blaming me. And what was oh, he doing okay. in the room late at night watching? I mm. know uh, he was out in the hallway with it. I was. I don't know. I think it sounds to me you you guys busted. You pervert. <laughs> <laughs> Miss ATV, how you doing? Welcome in. Welcome in. Welcome everybody. Thank you for hanging out. Uh, yes, but I have to work. Oh, okay. Let's Looks see. like cruising is fun anytime, says hello, everyone. Ooh. Who would that be? Uh, that, that's that's somebody's clown. Um, she, she might, um, I don't know. She came into the chat. <laughs> Good evening. <laughs> hey, boss, how you doing? <laughs> be, ni be nice to the boss. <laughs> Otherwise, uh, she might kick us all out. <laughs> I have to blood work next week. Hopefully the A1C is down. Yes. Yep. No uh, no pasta or bread for the next few days, so to make sure. <clears throat> now my my you're messing with my you messing with my thing here? My uh my microwave just went uh, dead. Um I learned what about your old high school buddy today, Eddie? Paul Revere. Yes, I came here on the Mayflower. Yes, I know. Yep. It, uh, a long time ago, but uh, no worries. You, you know, this that's what happens when you look this good for this old. So, of course, I deal with unhappy people. Yeah, I'm, I'm dealing with an unhappy person in the chat right now. His name is uh, Danny Griswold. She's never happy. <laughs> he doesn't... He didn't get enough... Uh, Chicky Chucky in, in Boston, so he needs to get some. This ATV, hey, welcome in. Yo, yo, yo. Hey, Eric, what's up? Me? Welcome in. Hello. Well, the uh, pineapples, the pineapple king does welcome his subjects into his own at all hours. Ooh. <laughs> Logan's getting a little personal there, but uh, <laughs> <hey>. <laughs> holy moly. Wow. <laughs> what's up? How you hey, doing? but. Uh, You guys are a bunch of troublemakers. Support from the Philippines. Nice. Salamat. Your micro, your, my microwave. No, I can't. I don't deal with microwaves. I got a pacemaker. I got to stay away from that stuff. Mm -hmm. The pineapples are coming. The pineapples are coming. <laughs> from Paul Revere, I got you. <laughs> so, Danny, watch out. You, you're going to get some. Hey, Eric, you want to come in in the uh, uh, panel? Let me know. Like, we'll send, the, send you the link. Call you okay? What's wrong with you repping the rest against my race? Yeah, tell him, tell him, you tell him, because I tried to tell him and he's not, he's not listening. You know. <laughs> so I'm gonna smack my panel around. <laughs> These are my uh, my pineapple pineapple oh, subjects. There you go. See, they're the subjects, like especially like this quiet one here. He's, 
See, you gotta be careful with the quiet ones. They oh, are the cool. ones that throw it and they go la 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 la. It wasn't me. It was Silent but deadly. <laughs> Ninjuma Brown, thanks for coming in. Yo yeah, yo, Ninjuma. What's up? <laughs> I don't know what happened to Scrossness. I don't. I don't think he. Uh, I don't know. He probably he'll tell me again if uh, if he's still here available. I'm driving around doing Uber mm-hmm. Eats right now. Ooh. Oh no 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 no. There you go. Yeah, my pineapple peasants right here. Yes. Um. Uh, clock. It looks like uh, you lost your title. It's mine now. So. Yep. Sorry for you. What what title? The pineapple king. I've That's never it. been. I've never had that title. Oh, yes, you were. Yes, you were. Yes, you were. Don't be saying that now. Yes, you were. Presence. And uh, that's why he's now. So he doesn't like it. That's why he was in the bloggers, the pineapple king, until uh, until he got caught by the other pineapple king, which wasn't the cruise nuts. Which cruise nuts are again another pineapple kings also, but they're uh, lower pineapple kings. You know, I'm I'm well, higher higher up. Well, they all like. Eddie, you're the pineapple king. Mike's the pineapple prince, and Cruise Nuts is the pineapple squire. Squire. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we all made the pineapple squad. There you go. Oh, and the rest yeah. of us are the knights of the round pineapple table. That's right. And I'm on the compliance because I have two mics in the panel and another mic. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. look at what, hey, look at what Danny. Look at what Danny wrote. Oh my God. <sighs> You're all going to all streams at the same time. <laughs> YouTube needs to offer channel like. <laughs> yeah, don't be a, don't be a hater, I don't have Facebook on my on my iPad. Oh, oh, whoops. Uh, so uh, that's a, you have another uh, straws net out there because I. Well, Gene Naughty will be with us on the uh, boost cruise. <laughs> Where's the where does Naughty fit in? Fetting is the major. He's the uh, elusive uh, pineapple king. I have to find my uh, pineapple, my um, stress ball he gave us all. I think that's I'm not sure where I put it. Pineapple chunks, rings, and crush. <laughs> oh my gosh, Eddie, you didn't. I did. For this is for uh, uh, Randy. Doesn't doesn't seem to be uh, uh, to be working out. So hopefully he'll get it this way. Uh, lots of tears of pineapples. Yeah, I know. Then I have to remove it or keep an eye on it. Uh, if we have any, uh, uh, well, Danny's uh, uh, destination phone is also a mod, so we'll be okay. Don't, don't keep an eye on, on anything like that happens. Mike and Ren are also here. Alice is also here. Grease Wall is here. So, mm-hmm. <clears throat> oh, yeah, anybody we, 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 here? I guess I missed them in the chat. If anybody's yeah. interested in making stickers for their channel, uh, Oh, nice. Sticker Mule had a pretty good deal uh, for 12 stickers. It was only $1.06. I got it to work. What was it? That's yes. what's up. What was I it? Like it? Uh, 12 yeah, stickers for $1.06. Yeah, but from where? Sticker Mule. Sticker oh, Mule. Yeah, I, got, I got those already. Yeah. All right. I got I got those already. So. I feel pretty sturdy. Yes. All right, I'm going to check it out. Oh. oh. My daughter's in there. Wow. That's very stylish. Mr. Cruz Nuts. Styling and profiling. That's right. <laughs> he's doing both at the same time. He's, uh, he's making sure. Oh, in my cart. Oh, there you go. Uh, How much was that? Ten ninety nine. $10.25. From? Timu. Oh, Your favorite. Okay. Timu. <laughs> <laughs> That's where you get all your stuff. Yes, I got I got about a uh, hundred seventy five items in, in my uh, my checkout uh, cart right now. I know, like they this guy was walking up my neighbor's driveway with orange bags in his hand. I was like, I know, I was like, I hollered at him. You better have one of those for me. He was like, What? Nope. Holy <laughs> mama! Maybe tomorrow. I'm like, better be tomorrow. <laughs> That's so Jose. Hey, how you doing? Welcome, welcome. We got some, somebody else in here. Good. Nice, nice, nice. I think uh, uh, we're getting a lot of homestead uh, groups 
from uh, Cheryl from Cruising Fun anytime or uh, or uh, Jeremy. So I'm I'm hey, you're all welcome in. Yep, sticker meal. Yes, I got I got some of those with uh, with my old logo. Yeah, Eric was just asking. Yeah, the, I, I just dropped the link to stickermule.com. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Actually, they're the ones that made my T-shirt. Nice. Mm. I got a little thing too. I'm gonna check on that too. See see how much the shirts are on there. Wait till they run them on sale. Okay. Yeah, check they run out. them every couple of weeks. They'll run them on sale for like about fourteen dollars, including free shipping. So. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's a good deal. Yeah. Check this out, guys. I think Larry, I mean, Lori Barber here has a nice giveaway. So something we need to find. A pineapple stress ball. Pineapple stress ball. Would be a great giveaway. Yes, you are definitely right. That's what uh, Naughty did for the uh, vloggers. Oh, yeah, that's what it was. I got yeah. one there, right there, a little one. It's a little, yeah. li little thing. I kept it. I, I have it there in a display next to the uh, one of the duckies. From the I have it. I gotta find it. Does anybody have a good uh, website for like the cruise lanyards? That Ooh, I haven't idea. checked. We got we got mm -hmm. our custom lanyards from Amazon. It was um, I believe two for six dollars. Let me show them to you. Yes. Hang on. All right. So I, I I I'm thinking of doing uh, some of those for the uh, 2.0. Mm -hmm. What do you think, uh, uh, Sherry? Destination fun? Should we do it? Hello, Cindy. The Manchi. How you doing, the Manchi? Okay. It's very nice. Oh, and thicker one too. Yeah. Bigger. Okay. No, oh, those are nice. They look good. Mm -hmm. Nice. Pretty we got cool. logo and everything for six bucks. What's on, what's on the end of them? Uh, it's uh, just a clip. Okay. Wait. Yeah. Just a gotcha. clip. Okay. Yeah. Is that how much it costs you, or is that? That, that's how much it cost me. Okay. Yeah. And does the platinum card come with it? No. Uh -huh. That has that has to be earned. That's uh this baby's card. <laughs> that's a serious upgrade. Yeah. You can get the pineapple stress balls at any promo for about 178 for about 150 of them. What what do you think? Should I do it? I think I'm doing it for the people that are booking the uh the cruise with uh with Bruce. For the for the 2.0, yeah, 2.0, and, and put on a dot cigarette boost, uh, boost cruise 2.0, and uh, uh, and my logo in it. So yeah, I think um, I think I'm gonna do that. So I was looking at um, I was looking at that earlier. There's still a decent amount of rooms on that ship. But, yes, so. yes, mm -hmm. and and uh, on this cruise now in October or or the uh, or the next one uh, next uh, October. No, yeah, this, the secret one. Okay. Don't, don't tell anybody. All right. All right. Yes. Why? Because it's secret. Yeah. Right. There, that's why there's a lot of rooms left. Yep. <laughs> it's a secret. Still a secret. So, yes, yeah, yes, sure. Right. Well, we'll, we'll it's got all it. the balconies locked up, though. Yes, it does. Yeah, the balconies were almost done before we even started. Well, there's not a lot on that class ship to begin with, so. No. Yeah. Uh, I think he's just asking something personal here. Yep. <laughs> Balls are nuts. <laughs> that is the question. I don't, I'm not sure about that. Okay. So uh, Ross here put a, a website, customerlineers.com. So we'll, we'll check him out. It's an easy name to remember. So mm -hmm. <laughs> pineapple nuts. <laughs> Bungees are my favorite, so I can keep. I mean, I can pull back, leaving a slot without my card. Oh, okay. Yeah, I seen those too. I could get those on a Timu, a nice pack of them, and uh, give them out with the with the ladies. <laughs> Jumping around like a crazy uh, schmuck here. <laughs> there you go, custom linears, custom linears .com. Very good. Mm -hmm. I used to buy from them all the time for the community conventions I used to do. Mikey, where you go? Mikey. Mikey, Mikey. Hello. I need uh, I need you in the panel. I, I need to be on there, uh, you know? He's been a you know. I was trying to find it. Oh. oh, I see. Yeah, that's the one I have. Mm -hmm. 
I need to be in the compliance. <laughs> hey, we got somebody from Germany in the chat. Welcome in. Oh. Welcome in. I was it was bugging me on trying to figure out where the hell it went. Right. What welcome in. Yeah. Don't use the linears. Why don't you use the linears? Well, G. Why not? I used to use them a long time ago. I haven't used them in I, I years. stopped using them too. Okay. So I want to I want to get something done for the cruise though, some kind of souvenir, you know, for everybody mm -hmm. uh, to have. So, well, we'll see. You know, I got, I got plenty uh, plenty of time to uh, to worry about that. So, I'm getting close to my hours, and I'm, I'm thinking about doing some uh, twenty ounce tumblers. I may give some away with the uh, channel on it. Good. So, uh, all right. I think I'm sitting at 677 hours needed. Mm, okay. I I don't I'll be checking this Sunday. Um I was around 33 13. Uh the, yeah, the, week, hour, the yeah. hours are the hours are the killer part of it, right? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we're getting, I would we're like way there. past subs before I had my hours. I was worried at first because it looked like I was getting my hours and not getting my subs. And then I had a couple months where it just it, my subs came quick. Mm -hmm. Because what are you doing? Nice. Uh, well, uh, Will G says here that uh, I had to wear them at work all the time. Yeah, I had to do that too at uh, the retail company that I work for. I had to have a, li a linear uh, the whole time, no matter what. Yeah, I worked at a uh, nuke plant where I had to wear a lanyard all the time, too. Yeah. Hey, Wizzy, how you doing? The champ is here. Okay. Let's go home. What's your channel? And I help you with some hours. Uh, if you're talking to Clock, it's Clock Family Adventures. Look him up. Hold on, I got it. He's on my channel. But I'll shave my butt cut smooth if a woman comes in and smokes with me. Okay. <laughs> That's Eric B said he needs 800 hours. So Eric's another one to watch. Yeah. He's got some yeah. good uh, travel information from different airports and different cities. Different uh, uh, tips. Very good. Very good. Very nice. So you getting ready for uh, another cruise, Mr. Randy? Not till August. Oh, so you we got you in August. I think uh, Jeremy is pretty soon. Jeremy, are you going on a cruise uh, in a, in a couple of weeks? September second. Okay, so, I am. Uh, that's Alice's birthday. Remember that. So remember that Alice's birthday, September second. Okay. Make sure you remember that. Okay. I'm going on a cruise for her birthday. Nice. Happy birthday! What do you what do you what are you cruising? <laughs> Mardi Gras. Ooh, sweet. okay. Yep, it's our family. It's our actual family well, that's, reunion. Yeah, that's right. The, the family group. Oh yeah, yeah, I knew about that. I didn't know it. I didn't know it was in September. So. Yep. And then, so, uh, uh, Randy, you're cruising what? Celebration. Ooh, I gotta I gotta watch Jeremy's videos and uh, you know sister ships. They're on the way. Um, oh, okay. I, I got um. I, I think I got Aruba and Bonaire out. I'm gonna do Curacao probably tomorrow. Oh, okay. Yeah. You can watch. You can watch my Mardi Gras videos. Um, yes, absolutely. Yeah. Make a tray. There you go. And clock. And then, what do you uh, do? Yeah, yeah clock. What do you got? I'll be on the uh, Liberty of the Seas in 26 days. Nice. Will G has uh, one. Doesn't have one until October. Uh, I think he might be in the nun. And then uh, Eric B has a celebration in October. And uh, a bunch of us going to be in the glory, which is uh, JNS. Uh, yep. Uh, cruise Bet's going to be on that one also. Uh, that's my next uh, uh, cruise in October with the uh, mm -hmm. Coast Cruise. And Alice, it's going to be our, my first uh, carnival. In a long time, and then uh, Alice is first. So I'm hoping that things will, you know, pan out and, and we uh, we enjoy it. Yep. Uh, and then uh, Ross has 474 days for his. That's a long, big no. number. 
Yeah, My next one's room. not till the middle of September, and I'm really trying to get something in there before that. <laughs> I can't. I can't take it anymore. Yeah, I'm getting just... land sickness. Mm. <laughs> you, gotta find a, you gotta find a pack and go sale. Seriously. Yes. My next one is September 16th, I think, on Carnival Venezia. Uh, well, you'll be on there on my birthday. Yeah. 23rd. Actually, I guess you'll be getting home. Canada. Well, you know, you know what's so crazy about the booze cruise is that's my birthday cruise. Yeah. So right. uh, that, that well, I'll, I'll be down the down the Mississippi and out in open waters with uh, Eddie Lugo over here. I'm on it too. I'm going to be on Wonder. So is Mister uh, Cruise Vet over there? Yeah. Right. We're gonna we're gonna hold them up and and put them overboard. <laughs> Just make sure that we go like this. Hey, how's the water? How's the hey. water looking? Yeah, I'm gonna have to walk the plank on this one. Wouldn't be the first time. <laughs> so, <laughs> y'all late to the party on that one. My birthday is on October 29th, so I'll actually be on Wonder from October 22nd to the 30th. Nice. Hmm. Good night, Denise. Thank you for uh, coming in and, you know, and, and rubbing it in that uh, you went to the beach and all that. So get your behind to bed. Yep. We'll see you. We'll see you mañana sometime. Hey, oh, cool. it's, his, it's his. It's Dwayne's birthday cruise too. Yeah, that's right. So. Another one we're going to grab and, and put overboard without letting him go, you know? Yeah. But uh, uh, we just That's going to be a small kind of ship, though, for all of the all the creators. Yep. Yeah. There's no way you guys aren't going to video bomb each other's videos. Oh, my Lord. Are we got to rent to do a lot. When I, was on, when I was on the celebration, every chance I got, whenever I saw one of them with their cameras up, I tried to, I tried to video bomb them. Every chance I got. Mm -hmm. So. We're all just going to sit in one room and film each other. I don't think anybody's going to be. If the internet's not any better than it was, like, say, last year, nobody's going to be able to go live from that ship. Right. How was the internet on Celebration? I, I don't, I don't, get, I don't get the internet package. I was on Celebration in December of 2022, and it was perfect. No, yeah, I heard they've got Skylink or whatever it is. So. Well, yeah, everybody, everybody else is thing. they've live. got probably about ten times yes. more access points than than like your typical retrofitted ship, right. including an access point inside every single cabin. Oh, great! Right, so wow. it's under the desk. Yep. Yeah, so, yeah. Because my yeah, wife's got to work great. a few days while we're doing the cruise. Yeah. Yeah, yeah she'll, she'll be fine on the celebration. The From everybody's live that I saw off of uh, the one that I just got off of, it, it, it looks like pretty clean live. Yeah, it's pretty yeah. It's perfect. Yeah, I was watching several of them, and, and not once did they ever uh, cut out or stutter or anything. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was on the Oasis in November, and it was uh, the first cruise that they had. Uh, Skyling, uh, Sky, yeah, that stuff. Um, yeah. was, uh, on that cruise, the first cruise with the service running, and it was great. Well, mm -hmm. the Wi-Fi that's on board, like the actual LAN on board is Wi-Fi 6, yeah. which, you know, has like greater throughput and capacity and stuff. So definitely. I, I live streamed from the ocean, uh, from the middle of the ocean on it, uh, on Facebook, and it was solid. Mm -hmm. Yes. Thank you. Nice. Yes, you got that right. You guys on the FRGC bombed each other's lives a lot, <laughs> especially um, in the in guys picking anchor uh, smokehouse. We were watching live music and everybody was going live. And um, um, Huddle Adventures uh, was doing his, and we all formed a conga line behind him. <laughs> I actually saw that one on Instagram. So. Yeah, I, I don't I don't know what possessed us to get up, but I said, "Y'all, come on, let's do this." <laughs> I can't wait to Jubilee. Uh, Jubilee is all those different food places that uh, yeah. I haven't been on the Excel class yet. What we what what I have decided to do is get the internet package for that sailing because everybody's going to be looking for Jubilee videos. Yeah, you know, um, I'll probably do a live walkthrough late at night, 
uh, you know, so I'm, I'm going to abuse the internet if if I get the internet package. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, yep. I know every time I do it, I I use it as much as I can. I put out a video every single day, uh, mm -hmm. short every morning when we get into the ports. I always uh, do a little short cruising into the port. Cool. Um, but yeah. Are you all still going to go on uh, FRGC 2.0? No. Oh, snap. We, this is voice activated. This is life with voice activated lights, guys. Hang on. I'll be right back. <laughs> sure. Bl blame it on that. <laughs> Technology. <laughs> Damn, Cheryl, no. Cheryl was like hollering, you know, like when she when when we say good morning, night, was setting everybody's echoes off, right? Setting mine <laughs> off, warm strong's off. Yeah. When 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 we say her name and good night, it turns off every light in the house. That's mm -hmm. that's what I have it set to. So that's what just happened. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. You need to get the clapper. <laughs> <laughs> Kelly and Tammy's journey has made it in. All oh, right. Heather, Lord, we always take the uh, corkscrew with us so you don't get hit with the $15 uh, corking fee. Corking fee. Yeah. yeah. That's in, uh, the, uh, EM Archer has a question. There we go. How much is the internet now on the ships? Um, um, I got my uh premium uh this year's uh uh boost cruise in october for 130 130 bucks for the whole week premium yeah i think carnival is a fixed price right yeah. um yeah. when they just had an increase royal it just depends on the sailing and when you bought it and stuff like that because royal is all over the place well, rules the raising the prices too because uh yeah. The uh, <clears throat> icon, I think, sitting at twenty four or twenty nine dollars, right uh, per day. Right, yeah. So it just it that's the only bad part about Royal is that it's yeah. all over the place all the time. If you catch a good deal, though, it's, it's cheaper than uh, Carnival and all of them. But yeah, right. you really have to watch it. They run those sales all the time too. It's like yeah. you know. I mean, they do like run every, sales, every other week. They're having a sale, you know. Yeah. The best time to buy anything on Royal, like any cruise planner purchases on Royal, believe it or not, is Black Friday. Yeah. 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 So like, even if you last. already have it, just cancel it and then buy the Black Friday. Buy it at the Black Friday price. That's like yep. the yep. best time to buy anything. The issue last year though is uh, you couldn't get through uh, to book the things. On, uh, yeah, it was it was slammed. The website was slammed on it. Yeah, I know the the wife was back here behind me complaining. Can't you do anything? You're a travel agent. I'm like, <laughs> what am I gonna do? <laughs> and work that magic, you know? Yep. Yeah. Uh, when I looked that up on NCL, it was about 130 for a regular week, 135, <clears throat> something like that. Yeah. Uh, that's what I was told. The uh, on Carnival. The uh, premium, the, the the best package was 130 bucks, so I, I went for it because I do want to do lives and uh, download some stuff on my uh, laptop at night. So I definitely want to need some uh, some push. So I want to see, uh, see on the vloggers on NCL. I paid 176 or something mm. uh, for the for the upgraded internet because you get the free uh, the four free things at sea or whatever. But right. then in order to get internet that you can actually stream with it was like 176 dollars right so like i'm diamond on royal so i get one free day of surf and stream so i usually yeah. use that obviously the last day because like on most of the time I, I get the internet package and then i'm logging in and out of different devices right logging in and out of my mm -hmm. phone on my computer and stuff if i have to do something like if i have to do travel agent stuff while i'm on the ship or something i need it sure. on a computer to do it so i log mm -hmm. out when I was on MSC, I learned that you can't do that with MSC. On MSC, once you log into a device, it records the MAC address of that device, and it won't let you do it. It won't hmm. let you log out. You can log out, but it won't let you log in on another device unless the MAC address was the same, which, you know, wow. like you can clone a MAC address, but that's really tricky stuff, right? So the way I got around it was I plugged my – I had my phone connected to the MSC internet. I plugged it into my computer mm -hmm. 
and then shared the internet connection from my Android. I, on my Android, there's like a drop down list and you share internet. Uh -huh. I shared it through the USB port to the computer right. and it worked flawlessly. Mm. So. Gotcha. I, I got a question for Jeremy. Uh, Cause I know you guys just come off the celebration and uh, so they do they have they have the bonsai teppanyaki on there, right? Or yes, did you guys eat there or no? Not on not on this sailing. Um, on the family reunion cruise, we might because I know there's a couple of uh, family members that want to do the teppanyaki. Okay, yeah, I booked it for the first night on the Jubilee, so I was curious to know, you know, what if you had an experience with that. I've uh, I've eaten at it on Panorama. Oh, okay. and Mardi Gras, and excellent. All right, all right. Yeah, we want to we do that too. The, the I, I wanted to. I was on Mardi Gras twice, celebration once. I wanted to do it all three times, but it was during COVID, and I was like, I'm not sitting that close to strangers. <laughs> eight, 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 if you want, I'm just not doing it. I tell you what we what we ultimately enjoyed because we went back uh, two and three times is Chebang. We did no. Chebang. We did Chebang one day for lunch, and she got the Mexican side. I got the Chinese side, and we fell in love with it so so much to where we just kept going back. Um, so what is Chebang? Chebang. So, so it's a Chinese. It's an Asian Mexican fusion restaurant. So you or you can order from both menus, right? My wife, I was telling my wife about how Jeremy and Cheryl loved it, and mm -hmm. we think that is amazing and fantastic because I've eaten at Chebang all three times I've been on XL, and I hate it. No. Thank you, Norton mm -hmm. Sal. Thank you. Yeah, everybody has their own. Yeah, so I'm glad that they loved it and had a great, you know, I just, I tried everything I could on both menus, and I mean, I... Like, like none of it tasted bad. None of it tasted mm -hmm. terrible, but I was, I, I'm just scratching my head wondering why anybody thinks that this is a good idea for a restaurant on a cruise. It ship. works. It, it works. I, I mean, mean it, okay. I mean, I guess it does. <laughs> it's included, but there's a pro tip it attached is, to this. Yeah. There is a pro tip attached to this. If you are early dining or late dining, if you have assigned dining times, you cannot check in to Chebang through the app until 745. So, yeah. So we're early dining people, but it says, you know, it says that up underneath the check-in button, only if you have your time dining, can you check in at any time after, after it opens. Yeah. So that's the great thing about Excel is you get a lot of those restaurants included. So like mm -hmm. for me, I would obviously normally go to MDR, but when I'm on Excel, I I probably go to China at least three times out of a seven day cruise because you know, yes, it's free. Uh, I was going to ask you if the Italian restaurant is free on Philip. It's, in, it's yeah. included. Yes, yeah, it's included. And I always do your time dining, so that means I can just like make a no. reservation as soon as dining opens. But right. and and there hasn't yeah. been a single time that I went there to you know and told them you know here's my you know because I check in on the app, so it tells you, you know, that your table is yeah. ready. And I show it to them on the app. There's somebody standing there complaining exactly what Jeremy just said. Like, just so somebody there standing there complaining about how they can't get in until, like, you know, like people are like, eight, almost 8 o'clock, that's, like, that's like bedtime or whatever. And I'm right. like, <laughs> <laughs> yep. you have yeah. your time dining then, man, if you want to get in early. So. I had to go have a I had to go have a, have a snack on that first night that we that we tried to check in. I'm like, wait, that's that's in a few hours, right? <laughs> so I had to go get a snack to tie me over until we made it because we are early dining people. You know, it's six yeah. p.m. We've been doing the late, and uh, we're going to change over to early yeah. on the next few cruises just because uh, it kind of messes with your shows at night and everything. Mm -hmm. and, um, yes. But there's yeah. something like on, on Royal, if you have your time yeah. or well, it's my time dining, I think on Royal, right? If you have my time dining on Royal, you can't check into the main, to the MDR until after six 30, right? Like they won't let you come during nor like the early dining time, which is five 30. Right. So right. like they won't even let you come till six 30 to check in for your time. So it's kind of a little bit backwards in that respect between carnival and Royal, but yep. Gotcha. Yeah. 
changing the subject a little bit, does anybody know about the Carnival Paradise? It's going in into dry dock. Uh, does anybody know what they're doing to it? I heard I they're sending it into the scrapyard. Oh, 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 man. Hey, what happens to it happens to it. You know what I mean? We oh, got a new ship. I know, right? Yeah. I don't have a problem with that, but uh, they're putting more balconies on it since we had such a uh, demand for balconies. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Who knows? <laughs> they're probably going to do some of that. Uh, awesome recognition. We'll have to meet up for dinner or lunch. On the cruise, yes, definitely. Uh, I always go anytime, so much easier. Yes. Yeah. House of X is in the house. Everybody, dun, dun, dun. Good job. YouTube police is also here. Everybody behave, be nice. Mr. Bill, it's in the house too. T Duck. Hey, Bill. What's up, T Duck? How What's you doing? Going on? I didn't start it. Oh, no, no, no. That's not a good thing, sir. No, no, no. Oh. You got to start well, your table. Yeah, yeah, that's where you messed up. You got to get that coffee going first. Yeah. No yeah. matter no matter what you do. Hello, Emily. What's up? We're doing good. Everybody's doing good. I think I think everybody's doing good, right? Everybody looks to, see, to be doing good. We're just a little tired, but we're doing good. How you doing? Hope you're doing well. Thank you for uh, popping in and, and, and hanging out with us. Kelly and Tammy, uh, awesome job, guys. Yes. Very good, very good. Uh, who else we got here? They're on the booze with us as well. Oh. All right. And uh, uh, let me try this all again. So YouTube police left us. Now Bell Loop is in the house, Bell Loop 29. <laughs> How you doing, sir? Hey, we're out of creamer. Oh, also, I thought oh. the shoe bank was just okay. Hmm. Chibang, so who had Chibang? Jeremy. Yeah. Is he said is, uh, Scott said it's a fusion of uh, Asian and Mexican, right? It is. Um, and I did that on the first time we went for lunch. But what I did was I ordered from the and more menu. There's there's the and more menu includes three of the MDR favorites. You got the salmon, you got the chicken, or you got the um, the steak. The, the broiled strip loin steak that's available every night in the main dining room. That's what I did. I ordered off of the and more menu. Um, that way we didn't have, you know, we had a more, a more, a, a, a better setting than the main dining room. And that's what I was MDR stuff. Wow. Okay. Well, well, the baby right. certainly enjoyed it. The, uh, the beef and broccoli was one of her favorites and the egg drop soup. She said is a must try. Wow. Definitely, uh, definitely want to try I whatever. I really tried hard to like it, but I was just like, no. "Is that a, a dinner only?" Yeah. Uh, no, it's lunch and dinner. Oh yeah, lunch and dinner. Right. Yeah. I only ever went there for dinner. So. Yep. And during lunch, they give you a little card to fill out. You know, it's kind of limited. It's a limited menu. Um, kind of like uh, Kuchina is. They give you a little card, and Kuchina during the day is also Pasta Bella as well. I went there too. We went there one night for dinner, and we went for lunch as well. That's All included. Oh, did you uh, see street? Did you see street eats? That was all of the food that just Baby and I ate. Okay. We ate a lot on that cruise. <laughs> <laughs> we did. did. That include the trips to the ice cream machine. Did you eat or, a or, or my late night runs to uh, go get um, cucumbers and uh, and ranch because that's. That's like my late night snack. That's what I'm into. Hmm. What, Vegeta what Shack's that? chicken. Cucumbers Jeremy. and ranch. Jeremy, did you eat Shack's chicken? I did twice. Yeah. First, that first, was the first day. That was the first thing that, right. that I tried because I really wanted to. And uh, I got the Shack sauce. I would I would highly recommend the Shack sauce with the two-piece chicken strips and a bed of fries. Mm -hmm. That was that was simple enough. And Baby said that she liked the um, the – the burger buns that they that they serve because they they put the garlic butter on there and they grill them. Yeah, I like the Uncle Jerome. You know, yeah, it's grilled and uh, really good. Did you mm -hmm. try the breakfast from Shacks? No, breakfast. no <laughs> breakfast. Yeah, they got they got breakfast stuff. Uh, T Dub has a question for me. I, I I have not weighed myself, 
Um, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I really don't know. Do you but really want to? I know I got my steps in though. That is a big ship, and it takes a long walk to wherever you're going. Yeah, and they, they, they killed me on them steps. I, I gained ten pounds on my last one. Yeah, yeah isn't, it, isn't it a pound per day? That's what they say. You get. I, I think you have to allocate for a pound per day of the cruise. Uh, Without I mean, they average you almost two pounds per day. <laughs> I'm an overachiever. <laughs> hey, I'm not hating. Man. Yep, you got to set the bar high. <laughs> definitely, that, definitely. Wow, we got a few people asking for uh, links. Sorry, we don't, we don't. I don't do the link yeah, right no, now no. like that. Um, uh, uh, okay, Will G, have a good night. Thank you, thank like, you. When, for I, when I go on a cruise and I know that I'm eating ten times more than I eat at home, and then yes. I've been, you know, there for seven days, and then I get home and I step on the scale and I've actually lost two pounds, then I'm like, right, no way. Yeah, <laughs> that's all that walking. Yeah, I don't need one. All food. that walking. Uh, <laughs> I don't. I I don't um uh measure my steps um on the cruise ship either yeah. we, we we noticed that there is a on the celebration between the elevator doors there is a list of places and they show you what shit what what deck it's on and whenever you get off the elevator i thought this was really really cool whoever came up with this idea is just a, a bum genius because it took them 50 years to get here um yes. there's a sticker there's a sticker on the glass door that shows you forward or aft yes why they didn't do that before i have no yeah. idea but i got I'm on sure. i got on mardi gras the third sailing after the restart yeah and when i saw that i was like genius and 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 because it's just a sticker on the door uh -huh. i'm like they could easily retrofit every other mm -hmm. ship yes they can sticker yes they can and they need what are to. they waiting on <laughs> that's all i'm saying somebody Ooh. to put them up <laughs> <laughs> Somebody needs to put them on that sticker that sticker website we found a while ago. I mean, uh, wow. Yep. Because that is that is just straight genius. I know it is it, because it's like, baby, uh, she turned. You know how there's like this little loop around, and then you can go back further on deck six, seven, and eight. Well, every time we got off the elevator, it's like to the left because then you could take the little shortcut back off into the main corridor that leads to the back of the ship. Well, baby, I always wanted to go right. I'm like, to the left, <laughs> to the right, take it back now, y'all. <laughs> like, I, I, we, we, we kept messing with each other because those those stickers really did help me, you know, because I knew I had an idea of where everything was on the ship because of Bill, mainly. You, you wouldn't be able to count the times that I watched that video just to, just to get my bearings before getting on the ship. I'm going to have to do Paradise the same way. Wasn't the uh, NCL the one that had the fish in the carpet? Just, yeah, yeah, the yeah, fish you know. going uh, towards the yeah. floor, I guess. Right yeah. now. And uh, uh, Jeremy, how many steps do you think you did on the celebration? I don't know. I, it was I a lot. What, my step counter, I set records on my step counter. I always I always check it while I'm on the, you know, just because I'm curious. But uh, I found out my watch has a sleep monitor as well. I might want to turn that one on. Yeah, it's always interesting because like every time I go on a cruise, every day like my <clears throat> my goal is like way down here, and it, it like where I end up is like way up there. Mm -hmm. nice. Well, when we were on the Oasis, we were actually uh, last room on the eighth deck next to the Aqua Theater Suite. So for us, we got a lot of the steps in. Uh, when I was on Anthem, in you know, obviously I booked the room right. And we were on deck 11, but all the way in the back next to the concierge lounge. So we literally had to walk for seven hours to get to the first set of elevators. <laughs> and my wife <laughs> still yeah. hasn't forgiven me for it. So we've been doing the uh, guaranteed stateroom and uh, we got stuck uh, behind Johnny Rockets one time. Ooh, oh wow! It's a pain in the butt to ha on the Oasis class to have to keep coming way out to get to the elevators every time. So, right. Um, and uh, T Dub, um, there is a a wobble dance video coming out, but is it's of Baby? It's not of me. I had to be behind <laughs> the camera, so you know that that's just the way. 
Um, that's just the way vlogging goes. Sometimes you can't get us both. Are you but, sure? But I did see you playing the drum, the bongos. In, uh, yeah, that was in Curacao. Yeah, I saw that the other day. I, well, yeah. I've been watching you guys' videos that have been coming out. So. Mm -hmm. yeah, I created a playlist. Ooh, to the room above the theater, and my that wife is awake. Ooh, that's not, that's not a good thing. No, 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 no. That's where the big speakers are, is up top. Yeah. I wow. can't remember what carnival ship I was on, but one time I booked the, the room directly above the stage in the casino and the band was playing till like 1 a.m. every mm. night. Nice. Wife still hasn't forgiven me for that one either. <laughs> yeah, that, that happened to me on the uh, in the Havana area on the Vista because like I was on the interior mm -hmm. the walls on the other side of the walls, like where the band plays and everything. So. I mean, so like every night to like midnight, they'd be just blasting. But you know, that was a good band. But I got a good, you know, I got a good deal. <laughs> that was a good band. <laughs> the, mu the music wasn't bad, so I was like yeah. dancing, you know, while I was laying in bed. So they kept me entertained. Mm -hmm. <laughs> You're not entertained. You're not entertained. <laughs> and the entertainment, the entertainment on the XL class is is light years ahead of what yeah. we're normally used to. We were captivated by the them just rehearsing. You know, it, it's like they had the rehearsal out in the open area and you're allowed to, you know, sit there and watch them unlike normal. Um, but they're doing this these high wire acts and stuff all over your head. And uh, a group of loggers that was with us was actually sitting down there in the front. And um, they one of them shifted their chair a little bit. And one of the one of the people that was responsible for keeping everybody still came out and told him, hey, you can't move your chair. It's for your, the safety of the performers and you guys that you do not move at all during the entire performance. So if you get those seats right up front, and I know it's cool, but from a video standpoint, another uh, group of vloggers told us that you have, to, you have to have one of those necks that goes all the way back because everybody is directly above your head. The first row behind the open area would probably be the best way to, to get that on a, on a clean shot. Mm -hmm. from the video because deck seven de okay there's screens there's screens that you can watch whenever you're sitting on deck six uh to where there's no blind spots you see the whole performance all as well deck seven there's some blind spots around the left and right if you're sitting right there in the middle deck eight forget about it if you're not standing along the glass uh in the front or sitting on that first row you're not going to get a good shot of the show at all there's a lot of blind spots and those screens would do well on deck eight upstairs. You could pack that whole area, but because people couldn't see, there was always open tables and chairs that you can sit at during the performances, but you just can't see anything. Yeah. Yeah. My know. wife complained when she, when she got on Mardi Gras, she complained. She was like, this is a brand new ship, state of the art, you know, mm -hmm. and they have all of this opportunity for like, design forethought and everything but yet they still created that venue where they've got tons of poles you know right. and i'm like well it was probably a structural issue right like they probably need a big poles. open area <laughs> right but she's like but they got all these poles you know and they've got seats at the poles so mm -hmm. you know how are you supposed to sit there and not be able to see you know she was complaining right about there's there's blind spots that that I don't know if they're even able to handle that better, but those those TV screens, um, like they have down on deck six, could do us well upstairs. Is all yeah. I'm saying. Yeah. Because we hung out on deck eight a lot. Yeah. I mean, deck eight is just full of everything that we enjoyed. You know, all the way from Chebang to Summer Landing, it was it was an awesome space to be in. Is deck eight? Yeah. There's a lot of blind spots up there on Celebration Central. Nice. What about uh, Lee? Was he a uh, uh, he was a cruise director, right? Yeah, Lee was phenomenal. Lee was he 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 makes he makes everything joyful for you. You know, just everything. Um, and he, he's a very personable cruise director as well. You will you will meet him more, I believe, than other cruise directors. You know, because he he's all over the place. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we so he was, um, he was a cruise director the second time I was on Mardi Gras and on Celebration. 
Mm -hmm. And when he when he came off the ship, he featured us in one of his videos. I thought that was really nice of him too. Cool, very nice. Yeah, I've been, I've been I saw that clip. Yeah, uh, that was cool. A lot of vlogs and that. Yeah, I've been following along on that. Mm -hmm. I think the first time I was on Mardi Gras, it was the. Um, Oh, like um, I'm I'm not a hundred percent sure about this name. Is it like the flying Scott? Flying Scott. Scott. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. He was so of course he wears a kilt the whole time. Mm -hmm. So <laughs> I already know he knows how to turn the party out though. Yeah. <laughs> we'll find out in this uh uh if the the secret boost cruise comes out, it doesn't get to the scrapyard, we'll find out who's the uh who the uh, the uh, cruise director will be? So cool. I mean, I don't, I don't. As long as there's somebody good there that keeps the party going, you know, let's let's do it. So, so we'll see what happens, you know, uh, when it comes down to it. So, uh, I have no idea, you know, about what you're all talking. I've seen videos and stuff like that, but other than that, uh, we'll see what happens when we get there. Uh, it's not the same uh, same thing going on in in Seattle. In Seattle, it's more calm. They do more games and stuff like that. They do part of the shows, but uh, you know, like like uh, we didn't really go to. We don't really go to the setaways or anything like that. We're doing something else eventually when that happens. So I try to stay uh, inside the ship as much as possible. So we're always doing something uh, something else. So we'll see yeah. uh, when time comes. You know, we'll see we'll see what happens. I mean, the energy on Carnival is very different. Yes, than the other lines. Just yeah, Royal is just. Royals the same way. Royals very calm, and you don't yep. really he'd see the big sail away parties or anything like that. Right. I yeah. mean, like, nope. On Royal, there's no game show where you have to walk across the stage holding a medallion in your butt cheeks and drop it into a bucket. <laughs> there was. I mean, I've I've seen it. On Royal. Uh, on Royal. Yeah. No, no, not on Royal. Like I've never seen that on Royal. Have you seen that on I Royal? Had, I've seen it on Royal. I've never seen yeah. it on um, Royal. In the um. In the Studio B, oh, okay. They have not brought it back. They have not brought some of them back. Oh, I know. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah. It was yeah, a Dallas, Texas that. game that had the, uh, the 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 guys and the girls had to do the different tricks. Gotcha. And, um, yeah. But well, the, uh, yeah. But, I mean, like, right? they definitely have that on Carnival, right? But then, yeah. like Royals got you know, and Carnival, and like Jeremy said, you know, some of the shows on XL are definitely a step up from other carnival ships but and i complained a lot in my early restart videos about carnival ships about how the shows were just kind of like people sitting on stools on the stage smiling at the audience and singing and singing so, yeah. you know, they're kind of really boring and stuff and royal is really more kind of refined and if you're on any of the um the larger royal ships that have like an ice rank like studio b right so like if they have any of those ice rinks, there's even more refined kind of shows in there and stuff too. So um, I was on, I can't remember what ship I was on, but in addition to the standard ice show, there was this, I don't, it's hard to explain. There was basically this woman, they had this overhead kind of screen, right? And there was this woman and she had this like table and sand on it. And she was standing at the table and she was drawing these insanely detailed images in the sand on this kind of overhead projector. And it was showing up on the screen at the mm -hmm. end of the ice rink. And they had music going and it was just the most incredible thing I ever saw in my life. I mean, she told an entire story with this thing and you got could understand it and really pick up on it. And it went on for like an hour, like almost an hour. It was just the most insane thing I ever saw. And it's the only one I, it's the only time I ever saw it. I never saw it on any other shit that had I've seen that on like America's got talent and all, but I was just going to say the same thing. It, I want to say I've seen it on a royal ship as well. Yeah, um, but we used to have the quest, and the quest right. has not come back. Right. Um, they said it was coming back, but right. I still right. have not seen it on any of the ones uh, since the restart. Yeah. Yeah. The, right. The, the best show I saw was on uh, was on Ovation of the Seas on at the two seventy. Uh, I forget like Pixels Cafe. I think was the name of it, but they used like the 
these are like like special effects, you know. And, and, and is it Spectrum's but, Cabaret, Cabaret or whatever? It's it's something something like that. And yeah, you, like you can watch the screens and you feel like you're actually moving, and then you got the 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 motion of the ship that kind of plays into that. Yeah, man. I don't know. I haven't like I haven't seen. I've been on the Oasis class where they do like the Aqua shows and stuff, but <laughs> but. But so far, that's that's you know the best show I've did, seen. So did Z just yeah. hack your uh, the live? <laughs> hey, the Jubilee! There it goes. We had Carrie Underwood, and then the Carrie Underwood was my baby mom. Oh, I saw it real quick, and then and then <laughs> baby mom. Hashtag yeah. Carrie. Hang on, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and post that comment. <laughs> I gave you guys a a, a quick three second uh, uh... prime time. <laughs> <laughs> hey listen it's your show you can do whatever you want yeah hey you got the wrench crew in with you tonight too so here it goes <clears throat> you do you man <laughs> there we go boom chakalaka <laughs> and then honor to that oh my god <laughs> oh, miss, miss underwood hello welcome in <laughs> Welcome to the chat. How you doing? Oh, <laughs> oh, now with me? There's a delay. There's a delay. Uh, my wife says, yeah. <laughs> and uh, this is, but this one's better. Uh, there, you yeah, there you go. Oh, hey Eddie, what are you twelve <laughs> in that picture? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> really Thank you. Thank you. He just got his driver's license in that picture. <laughs> We're going to send you the uh, check, too. <laughs> I was... Oh, what's over there? Um, that was 2004, right? That picture? Yes, 2004. Yeah, 2004. I was... Uh, I think I was 39... I just noticed Alice had to bend her knees so that she would be the same height as you. <laughs> <laughs> See? Yeah, she's, she's oh, bending a little, yes. Punch <laughs> down. <laughs> See, I'm 5'3". How tall is he? 5'3", hmm. <laughs> baby. 4'11". They they're telling you the wrong. You're five five five. I'm five four. Somebody I don't know who measured you, five, but four. you're shut up. Oh no, we haven't seen five foot in years. It, it's not gonna matter when you get in those go karts on the Prima. That's right. Right. Be no whatever. Mercy. Better have his uh, booster shoes on. No so mercy. Uh, it's it's gonna be real. You know, we get in those go karts. So. I was actually thinking the same thing. I was thinking, can he reach the pedals on the go kart? Oh yeah, <laughs> I done them already, and I whooped everybody. Yeah. No, no mercy. Yeah, what are you gonna have to do when you go against adults, and not just kids? Uh, Alice, <laughs> Alice, Alice be filming when we we gotta have an impartial. Uh, referee on there. You got to make sure Alice right. is filming and not shooting his car. Because yeah, there's a speed up done. Speed the thing up. Yep. yep. I know she's got Mario, his back. Mario Kart. <laughs> He's gonna tell her, okay, whenever I come around this bend, that's when you hit me. Whenever I'm on the straightaway, not the curve. I, I'll, I'll give my GoPro to one of the staff members just to even it out. You know, mm -hmm. yeah. whenever you see me behind the sergeant. Blackheads, like knock him out of the race track. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be oh, excellent, man. man. We're gonna tear that plate up. I'm telling you, no mercy. Once I go like this, oh, that that that's the sign. Once I once I do this, on. oh, there it is. <laughs> <laughs> you gonna fit that in your suitcase? I mean. You may have to wear it on the plane. I'm going to bring it on my carry-on. TSA. <laughs> oh, man, that would, that would, that would be a great uh, new, cruise news story. <laughs> Eddie Lugo gets locked up by TSA. <laughs> Wear, wearing a stormtrooper hat. Yeah. Uh, we're driving to uh, Galveston. Oh, there, yeah, there you go. 
Yep. Bada beam, bada boom. I can bring. How long is that drive for you? <laughs> it's about it's about a ten hour drive. Mm-hmm. And you should wear it while you drive and get the reaction of the other people. You know, going. Yeah, there you go. Stuff. You got to be all serious, and then just uh-huh. <laughs> real quick. <laughs> you want the buckies? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Down there, there's probably ten buckies between him and Galveston. I don't know. The one in Texas City, they might they might actually shoot at you. <laughs> <laughs> I guess some gun owners over there, man. Yeah, in Texas, you better you gotta you gotta be careful. Yes. Never know. I see them all the time. It's open carry, so they got the the big you know holster and everything on the side that yeah that's true yeah i never i never really never really like thought too much about any of that until like years ago i saw this news story where some guy went into or like a restaurant like i don't know like texas road out i don't think it was texas mm-hmm. Roadhouse, but it was like some type of like chain restaurant in texas to hold them up and there and he was like within like minute like within like a minute like 10 people who had been sitting in there eating all drew their guns on the yeah. guy and i thought to myself did this guy not know he was in texas They're protected you know yeah. he, he definitely you gotta, protect- you gotta think about that down here i mean you know there's other people carrying yep yeah. you got he, yes no, not on the plane, Emily. I'm not gonna be carrying that in the plane. We're gonna be driving, so yeah, they be kicking me off the off the plane. Yes, definitely. So nope, <laughs> take it away for, from him or hold it until later. No, they're not gonna hold it till later. I'm taking the sucker with me. Mm-hmm. I'm not gonna leave it behind. <laughs> um, Clark, this one is for you. <laughs> 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 wow! It's all cruise related. It, it, this is all cruise related, ladies and gentlemen. I promise you, it is in, in some way, form, or fashion. That's right. Yes, yes. it always goes around, comes back to cruising. Yes, it no does. Matter no matter what. So, no matter where you put the spin or where you want to go, you could go there. But we're we'll coming back to cruising anyway. Oh, I know. I know what cruise ship you could wear it on is a Disney cruise because they, they, you know, that they, they got this whole yeah. Star Wars thing going on. That that would be welcome. Little kids will stop it's you better, and ask for your autograph. Kind of this is kind of lame, but um, Wheel of Fortune this whole week has been a Star Wars themed Wheel of Fortune. They've been giving away. Like, wait, 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 here I am sitting here, like hanging out with the guys and stuff. And I'm talking about Wheel of Fortune. Okay. So kind of lame. But anyway, but listen, there was this prize tonight. And it was basically t- it flights to Florida in two days at the Star Cruiser Hotel. Star Cruiser Hotel. Yeah. Did they it's, close that? It, they're getting ready to close it. No. But you know, this, it. Prob- this was probably yeah. filmed like six months ago, right? $13,000 for two people. <laughs> like, no wonder they're closing it. Right. And that doesn't include meals. Yeah. I mean, it's a crazy. Like, I'm just like, I can't believe it. $13,000. Who who were they making that for? You know what I mean? I mean, I know. I got, I think to myself, really, like, your strategy is, is to close it instead of lowering the price. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. What is going on? Take, take the, they had such an immersive experience or whatever. It was like a thing the entire time you're there. Just right. take the show and all out of it and just have people walk around every so often. Yeah. And just do it yeah. as a hotel. Right. And you're still gonna sell the damn thing out every week. Yep. yep. And if you if you let it go as just a hotel where you can book for seven nights, because no one's going to Florida for two days and spending <laughs> four or five thousand dollars for two right. people. No. Exactly. Yep. That's crazy. Yep. How many cruises could you do for that that amount of money? Oh uh, yeah, exactly. Or how many visits to the to the amusement park could you do for that amount of money? Yep. Yep. One. 
That's right. <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? Well, <laughs> if, if it's a Disney, that. if it's a Disney cruise, one. <laughs> yeah, one. Oh, the icon. That, that gets you an inside room too on I, Disney. I was trying yeah. to yeah. Yeah. say. So <laughs> on, I've told on, everybody on this before. I, I priced a Disney cruise one time for my family of five, and it was twelve thousand dollars. Yeah, and I was like, crazy. Nah, I'm good. That's <laughs> one Disney cruise. Yeah, but at least you're there for seven days instead of. Uh, well, Instead of two days, wow, that's crazy. Nah, no, no, that's not happening now. I, I don't think I'll what do a Disney it? cruise because I, I just don't. For me, I'm well, and and that's nothing against Disney necessarily. I just I'm not really interested in anything they have and me being solo and everything. I, I just I think it would, a, it would just be a waste of money. I mean, I don't. Yeah, know. they don't have a casino either. No? Yeah, that's right. Right. yeah, right. That's the only cruise line without a casino. Mm. So, well, until yeah, I guess I could do it just for, just for the content, but I mean, other than that, I can stand on I can stand on Harbor Side and get a real good shot of it and post it on Instagram. That's that's yeah. about the best I can do with Disney. Yeah, true. Yep, yeah, you got that right. Or go down to uh, Port Canaveral and you get uh, a few of them there mm -hmm. most of the times. Mm -hmm. They might as well drive over to uh, uh, Disney Springs. You know what surprised me? I see the Miami cruise cam all the time, and it's got six or seven ships lined up. When we got there, it was only two. Yeah. It was a, um, it was a, a smaller, uh, I think it was the Sunrise or the Sunshine, either one of them, and the Celebration. I mean, you were just leaving on an odd day. That's why. Yeah, <laughs> that was that was weird to me. I'm like, wait, this we're missing some things here. You guys slept on a Saturday, right? Yes. Yeah, that's why. Yeah, it's usually Sundays when uh when it gets packed in there. Oh, okay. Yeah, uh, so like in uh, like in New York, also the same thing. Sundays, that's when the uh, the flip around uh, day. And then now, when we Saturday. when we got back, I did see the MSC Seascape up close. That was kind of cool. We sailed by it early in the morning with the city lights behind it. Yeah, that's coming up too. That's our first cruise together. The uh, skate. Nice. Yes, back in uh, 2018, right? Yeah, 2018. We did a New Year's uh, Eve cruise on that one. 2018, 2019. Very nice. On Sea Escape's nice. brand new. You're thinking NCL Escape. He said MSC. MSC Seascape. Oh, okay. Yeah, MSC cool. Seascape's brand new. Right. So, I got. I got a question for Scott. Because uh, I'm going on Navigator of the Sea September 4th. That's my ship. And so, it, you know, if you were tell, you know, if you were advising me, I mean, what would be one thing that I have to do on the Navigator of the Seas? Oh uh, well, <laughs> <laughs> I said eat. Not, not eat. to put you on the spot, but you know. Um, I mean, okay. So here's the thing: Navigator is a very special ship to me, but it's a Voyager class ship, right? So there's not really that i mean you've been on a bunch of royal ships so yeah there's yeah. not really anything right. that, that special about a voyager class ship um you know that that you have absolutely have to do so I well, mean, don't, I, don't they have that like that tiki lounge or tiki restaurant or something no it's disneyland <laughs> but I mean, they have like the bamboo, like, like there's a special restaurant that's only on. Yeah, that so in the prom yeah, so and it's in that that is also on adventure oh, as okay. well, which is the same class ship, right? So yeah, so in the on the Royal Promenade and in the interior Royal Promenade, there's like this bamboo room and it's and but it's really small, right? right. There's about four tables in there in the bar. Okay. And it, there is, I mean, I hate saying that to you, right? Like, I really wish I could tell you this really fantastic thing to go and do, but it's a Voyager class ship. There's just not, there's no wow, right, on that ship. They now, do have playmakers, it, right? Is that yeah? So yeah, so there's a playmakers on there. Um, I mean, it's basically a smaller freedom, right? Okay. So. That's the only, that's the one thing that I can say. Like most ships are very similar, but also different. 
but with Voyager and Freedom class ships on Royal, they are literally absolutely 100% identical, just Freedom's bigger. Okay. They literally use the exact same blueprint for those two class ships. So, so they're I did, literally... Uh, I did an adventure for a Northeastern cruise, and as far as uh, the ship goes, it's there was nothing really on there that I would say I want to go on adventure for again. Right. So, yeah. But, I mean, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, like, I've, I've been like, on adventure. I've been on adventure twice. So I, yeah. You know. So I, I mean, like they're navigating the same class, right? So you're really not going to okay. see, I mean, it's going to be basically feel like the same ship, right? So, but like uh, navigator is my ship because it's the first ship my wife and I went on together. And when we went on it, she only knew me for two weeks. <laughs> And I was already booked on it, and I was already booked on it, and her friends talked her into it, right? And literally, when we walked together, on, we met separately. We both flew down to Fort Lauderdale to get on it, and we flew separately. And when she flew down there and got and shuttled over to the ship, and I met her at the shuttle bus at the terminal, the first thing she said to me when we were walking towards the terminal to check in was, Please don't turn out to be a psycho that's gonna like throw me overboard. <laughs> <laughs> but now we've been married for 13 years, right? You'll be one so, of those stories that the yeah. Tony from Alita Locust, you know, reporting yeah. on. Right. So in any event, right? So it's a very special ship for me, but that's really why it's special because it's yeah. a nostalgia thing. It's the first ship my wife and I went on. Now, this past summer I was on adventure going to Bermuda. You know, and again, right. it's like it's the same thing, right? So I've been on Mariner and stuff, right? The only Voyager class ships I haven't been on is Voyager and Explorer. Okay. Now, I do like that uh, the karaoke lounge that that uh, um, whatever the hell that room is called. Uh, it, it's a nice big area, and um, if you're on like the Oasis class ships. They don't have enough room for the karaoke and and the different little shows that they do, but that Agreed. that uh, room there on uh, adventure is nice and big and holds a lot of people in it. Mm -hmm. um, what the hell is that room called? It's got like uh, dragons or something sitting outside the door of it. Um, oh, uh, I, I, know, I, know, I know, I know what you're talking about. about. Yeah, I know it's what you're on talking the about. Yeah, so know, say it's I'm, down I'm, past I'm, Cafe I'm, Promenade. It's on the Cafe Promenade side of it. It's yeah. like almost kind of like straight across from it. I think it, um, it might yeah. be Empire, M Emperor Theater or something like that. Yeah, something yeah. Like that. Yeah. Yeah. They, yeah, they did like the art auctions and stuff. Yeah, it's there. really big. It's, it's a lot of different yeah, things. It's really big in there. Yep. But yeah, I mean, I, like I said, I hate I hate not having a really great answer for you. But no, I mean, I, mean, I, I would just I mean, so I knew you'd been on it. Is, so. I mean, it, it is a cool ship because it's the first class ship that has the promenade. It's the first class ship that has a uh, Studio B, you know. So for that size ship, there really is a lot to do. Like I actually, when I was doing my vlog from Adventure, I that's one of the things I said. I said, you know, Royal Caribbean has really packed a lot of things to do on this class ship because you know i mean there's a there's a, a flow rider there's you know there's studio b there's um you know i mean there's a lot of stuff to do on that class ship but yeah it's just it's just an older class ship so there's no, nothing nothing that's going to wow you so i mean i think i booked it mostly for the for the location because they're sailing out of long beach right they're on the west it. yeah navigators on the west coast now right right I, I was looking for an excuse to get out to the west coast to go down to san diego so i figured well i'll go do that cruise and then i'll drive down to san diego right so now i'm about to take my first princess cruise here pretty soon and that's just because i have a free cruise as a travel agent if you um if you complete like like nobody else does this and i'm ready for i'm getting ready for princess to yank it from us as well but as a travel agent if you complete princess's training and you become a commodore they give you a free cruise the only thing you have to pay for is the taxes fees and the gratuity right now it's only a free cruise in an interior room if you want another type of room, you have to pay the difference, right? So, 
Um, and there's a special website you go to and the, the inventory that you can book into for the free cruise is constantly changing. And for the, up to this point, there hasn't been much in there, but now all of a sudden there is like a crap ton of stuff in there all over the world. I mean, like transatlantics and Panama canal and all this other stuff. And I'm really torn. Cause like, I don't know which one to book. I, but for me, I really want my, I want my first princess experience to be on a medallion class ship, which is their newer, bigger, nicer ships. Mm -hmm. So I want it to be on a medallion class ship. So I'm, you know, I'm limited in that respect in that I won't be able to, um, I won't be able to just pick anything and for it to be on medallion class. But so I'm, but I am getting ready to pick something that's in there that's on medallion class and, and book on that and go on that. And I'm really looking forward to that as well. So, and my wife has been on princess before, but I haven't. Nice. So MSC Seashore, Lori Barber wants to know anybody, any one of you guys has some more info on it. I don't know what kind of info she's looking for, but yeah, haven't done MSC yet. Not um, it's a really great. It's a really great ship. Um, you know, it's got a it's got a zip line, and um, it's it's similar to Royal Caribbean's Quantum class ships. Um, you know, excellent everything. They'll status match you. You know, so if you've been on other cruise lines or whatever, they'll match your status. They'll also match Hilton hotel status and Marriott hotel status. Yep. Nice. So, oh, I get the MSC uh, terminal here in Galveston, man. That I know that, that that's that's going to be awesome. Yeah. With the, with clock, the clock is booked on. You're booked on World America, right? Yep. For sailing. Yep. Nice. And that and now where's that going out of Miami, right? Miami. Yeah. I have a feeling it's probably going to end up going to Galveston. Uh, most of the ships, the first season is in Miami, and then they change it to wherever the hell they're going to put this stuff well so so in addition to the ships that already exist here in the u.s market for uh msc msc has committed to building six additional ships yeah. for the u.s or north american market with yeah. world america being the first one of those six so there'll be five additional ones coming and you know so i'm sure every possible port mm -hmm. will have you know a really great MSC ship. So, um, I mean, I love Maravilla and I love that Maravilla is in New York now. Um, so I can't wait to get on Maravilla from New York, but, um, I'm hoping that they bring a seashore seaside class ship to New York as well. So, yep. Be sure to bring extra hard drive space. Cause I know that the, uh, the vlog camera is going to be pointed at the, little shiny staircase they got in there yeah the fourth part, the was what's that a swarski dollars eight thousand dollars per step yep yep yeah i mean i i mean when i'm every time i've been on maravilla in the evening the entire evening you cannot even use those staircases in the aft part of the ship because people are just taking non-stop there's a line Mm -hmm. And those staircases for on all the decks for people to take pictures on the staircases. So, yep, they did the same yeah. thing on the break on N, uh, NCL breakaway. They did the same thing on all the staircases. They kept and there wasn't anything fancy about the staircases. They just they just kept blocking them off to take pictures on. Just a pain in the butt getting them through the ship sometimes. <laughs> So what uh, what cruise line was it you said to honor's Marriott? M uh, MSC. 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 Uh, yeah. yeah, so they do a status match. So if you just go to um, their main website, which is msccruisesusa.com, right. and then just look for their Voyagers Club, which is their loyalty program, which they call mm -hmm. their loyalty program. And then in there, there'll be a link for status match. So you just fill it out. And then you fill the form out and then you just send them like there's a place for you to attach. Like, I think I attach just a, like a picture. A I, statement took. Or something? Yeah. I just took a picture of my last C pass card from Royal Caribbean that showed that right. I was diamond and they status match me to gold, yeah, okay. which is like their next to top. 
status. Well, mm-hmm. we'll have to remember that if I ever go on MSC. So that's yeah. a pretty good deal. Yeah, so. and then the trick on that is they'll only status match once in your lifetime. Mm-hmm. So once they status match you to something, then you have to sail once every 36 months in order to hold that status. Yeah. And if you don't, then you lose it. And if you lose it, then they will not status match you back again. So. Mm-hmm. Now, is there anyone that honors like Carnival does the same status match or not? Because I didn't think there was. No, MS, MSC is the only one that does it. And it's recommended um, that you get the status match done before you book your first cruise. That way it's. But I mean, do they, do they take Carnival status and match that? Yes. Oh, okay. Yeah, so, yeah, so if you have uh, any any of the cruise lines plus the right. major, the big hotel, so like Hilton, Marriott, right. and IHG. Now, I haven't done my status match yet because I'm trying to get my go- uh, diamond on uh, Royal before I do it because my yep. first cruise isn't until 25, and um, I'm hoping that I can get my diamond before then. I should have it. Yeah. So like back when MSC first started, like before the shutdown, MSC would status match diamond or platinum from Carnival to their top level, which was black or there. They call it diamond as well. Um, But now they just do gold. Mm. So. But I think it's, you know, gold is pretty good. I mean, I get Mm -hmm. uh, 10, 10, like 10 or 15 percent off cruise prices. Um, you know, and you get some other perks on, on board, you get like, um, a day in the spa, um, stuff like that or whatever. So you can't beat that 10, 15% off cruise prices, especially when their prices are pretty cheap anyway. Yeah. Their prices are cheap anyway. Cause every time I put my Voyager's number in, it always drops the price. For yep. Me. So, you know. Nice. Yeah. I, get so I couldn't money. believe that. I'm going on the inaugural of Icon. It's three thousand dollars for an interior, and I still have to pay for my drinks and internet. And I'm going on the inaugural of World of Mer- World America, and I have seventeen hundred dollars, and that includes my drinks and internet. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So yeah. The, the price right. So like, so the wife and I booked a seven day, and we did this cruise only for the experience. Because, I mean, it's basically on Maravilla from Brooklyn down to Ocean K. What's well, going to uh, Port Canaveral, Ocean K, and Nassau, right? But we booked in the Yacht Club. So with Yacht Club, you basically get everything. You get drink, yep. you get the drink package, you get the, the dining package, you get, you know, all of the priority stuff, everything else. So we booked it seven days, twenty one hundred hours for both of us. Nice. You know? yeah. And yeah, I mean, I mean, I just we we were like, we have to do it at that price, you know. And it's literally just so that we can do the yacht club experience. I want to mm-hmm. say Sea Lake just did it too. Yeah, uh, they did. They Lake. did. I don't. I mean, I don't. And and but I don't think they did it on Maravilla though. But I don't remember um, what ship it was. I just know yeah, that uh, they did do it. Yes, and you know because. You know, I mean, like I've been reading, I mean, obviously I'm a travel agent, so, you know, I know about it. I've been reading about it, trained about it and stuff like that. You know, I mean, the perks really are pretty spectacular for yes, what you get, you know, for like what those things cost individually to have them bundled in there, you know, mm-hmm. and to get all the priority access and, you know, and everything else. I mean, it's basically like being on in a star, star suite level on Royal, you know, with a genie. You know, it's basically the same. So, but you're getting it for a fraction of the cost. You haven't been on a uh, MSC since they're doing the free drinks right now, have you? No. Okay. So I'm wondering if there's any kind of catch to the free drinks. Um, I thought there was going to be a catch to the NCL free drinks, but they're like, you get $15 credit for any drink. And if you look at the list, all the drinks are less. Than, are well, you know, different. MSC has multiple drink packages. So they have like the kind of basic drink package where you only get like one type of draft beer okay. and a couple of select wines. 
and I think a couple select liquors, but you don't get them all. And then they have the next one up where you get all of the bottled beers and all of the draft beers and basically everything. So they have that cheap. I forget the name. They have a name for them. Yeah. I forget what they are right I now. Wanna, but... Now that you said though, I think I looked it up the one day. Yeah. So those are the. So those, that's the only kind of. You know, that's the only kind of thing that I think you have to be careful about when you're booking the drink package with with MSC, where with Royal and Carnival, you book the drink package. It is what it is. It's like a single mm -hmm. drink package. But with MSC, there is two or three different drink packages, depending on which one, you know, and they're I think I think the cheap one and the and the other one is like I think there's there's like 200 hours difference between the two. But oh. then, you, you know, you get. Obviously, with the more expensive one, you get whatever you want. So, mm -hmm. yeah. and even with the dining package on Royal on on MSC, it's there's all there's different dining packages. So, if you get the cheap dining package, you can go to like three specialty restaurants, but you can't get everything on the menu. You can only select certain things on the menu. Wow. You can't you can't get everything you want on the menu. So you have to get the if you want everything that would be on the menu in that specialty restaurant, you have to pick the higher one. So, I got you. Yeah. Mm, interesting. Sounds I've never done the uh, any kind of food packages or anything. Um, I've never eaten at any specialty restaurants when I get on the ships. I have thought about doing the uh, unlimited um, food package on a <laughs> Royal um, at some point just to try the different things. But uh, I don't know whether it's worth it or not. I don't know if any of y'all have ever tried it. I would answer, but I'd be talking too much then. So, <laughs> I'm telling her that you're a professor from the university, so that's yep. why. <laughs> he has the knowledge. <laughs> he's, he's sharing all of us. What do you? <laughs> I mean, that, that, whenever, whenever they train us, whenever they train us for this stuff, they 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 pack a lot of information into here, and it comes out in regular conversation, like. Uh, I'll tell baby uh, whenever she's going to the kitchen, I'm like, Hey, you're going to the Lido. Like that, that's how much cruise mode I'm still in. Even to this day, <laughs> we're, we're still going through the Lido, which is our kitchen and getting a snack. I don't know why we don't do this on a regular basis, you know, but we're still in cruise mode. It happens. Yeah. What are, now that uh, we're talking about cruise mode, uh, there's a new menu on Royal. Terrible. So what's what's the deal with that? What's what's the change? Do you know anything about it? Each night is a different night. Um, uh, I'd have to look through my videos to see exactly what each night's um, thing was. But there was a couple of nights where I didn't really like anything on the menu. Um, now I am a very picky eater, so I mean I'm sure everybody else would be able to find something. But I liked being able to my wife. <laughs> I, I liked having the fact that every single night, if I wanted a New York strip steak or a baked chicken uh, or grilled chicken, I could have it if I wanted it. Mm -hmm. And they don't have, you don't have that option anymore. So when I was on Anthem in January, 11 days, it was brutal. Yeah. And that was the I, first cruise with the new menu. And, and my everybody wife, was complaining. It, insists that we eat at the main dining room every night and um i told her i said look i'm not sure how many more of these cruises i'm going to do if i got to eat at the main dining room every night and every single time it's going to be like this it was yeah, terrible i i it actually like the windjammer you know i mean a lot of people poo poo on the wind jammer, I mean, I, i've been i've but... been to the wind jammer several times for dinner yeah like when i um when I've been able to sneak off or I go get a snack or something like that. And they have everything you need right there. So I don't every, mind. Like every that. Royal ship I've been on, they, they have like just a plethora of different options, uh, you know, yep. uh, to, to choose from. So they like, they have like a grilled station, you know, with steaks and, Grilled veggies and, and I mean, we were hoping we were hoping that it was just because it was the first cruise with the new show. menu that it was yeah, he, you know, they uh, were still kind of you know, learning, I guess, or trying to figure it out. But 
The food was, I mean, the food was okay, but it was, there were like, we got this like chicken Parmesan in the main dining room or whatever. And the chicken had like, like the chicken breast had like rib meat in it or something. It was like, it was like wow. chewy and rubbery. And it was yep. just like, oh. and then like the people, the people at the table next to us, they were complaining, like they actually sent it back and they said the same thing. They were like, this chicken is like rubbery. And we started laughing about it because we thought the same thing about our chicken. Yep. So, I know we're getting the same thing. Yeah, it was it was it's terrible. And my wife's the same way, insists on eating an MDR every single night. But on that cruise, she said to me, Wait, based on the way this menu has been the last couple of days, she was like, I, I guess I'm not opposed to trying the windjammer a couple of nights. Because it was eleven day cruise, yeah. right? So she's like, yeah. I'm I, I guess I'm not I really opposed think, to trying it. I really think they're trying to push more people into paying for that those dining those uh especially yeah yeah now i did hear that uh, um uh, icon will have more of the different little restaurants too kind of like the excel class that will be free so i'm looking forward to that mm -hmm. yep i like yes. i like street eats um baby brought some stuff back from steam dream that really just blew my mind i, I don't even know what was in it but the the sauce uh, you know whenever you get something from steam dream or time fries the sauce that they put on it it, it just it, it it's mind-blowing combinations that they put together mm -hmm. on those and and i really did appreciate that and shack's big chicken as well um they're they're spreading the people out so well that you never ever feel crowded mm -hmm. uh, on the on the bigger ships mm -hmm. that's now one thing i do like the fries place has like a different type of uh loaded fry or something every single day is every day yes. yes okay yep so i love french fries so and there's like an asian thing there too isn't there jeremy mm -hmm. like yeah there's steam dream and then there's another one um called uh mad sizzle yeah and they had like kebabs sometimes and mm -hmm. stuff like like that that whatever too. right yeah yeah was that in the celebration yeah it was, yeah, on, it Excel was, it was on the excel class yeah the other thing too I like about um, Excel and um, Vista class is um, for lunch you can get gelato in the uh, in the buffet. Yes. So. Yes, you can. Yeah. They um they put ice cream in the uh, wind jammer on Wonder now, so they have oh, okay. Uh, actual hand dipped ice cream in the in the uh wind jammer now on oh that's another change on the excel class is they move the ice cream machines they're no longer in the lido uh marketplace they moved them to the very aft of the ship either on deck 16 uh which is the lido deck or deck eight um there's there's uh ice cream machines back there but that i didn't see any in the lido marketplace at all mm-hmm yeah, because there's like one down in Heroes Lounge and stuff like mm -hmm. that too on Excel. So, yep. So when I get on Wonder in October, we have the ultimate dining package or something like that or whatever. And the only reason why we're getting that is because of the additional restaurants that are on Wonder that they don't have. Yeah, the Mason Jar and stuff. Other X or other, um, I was going to say Excel <laughs> on other Oasis class ships. So um, that's the only reason why we're doing it. So we can try them all. Let me know how Wonderland is, because I've been told several different things. Like the food wasn't very good. It's just more. I've heard the same things. Yep, I've heard the same things. I so. almost paid for it just to take my daughters there, just because it'd be a nice little treat for them. Yeah, uh, before they get too old. But um, it everybody kept saying it was kind of nasty, so mm -hmm. I kind of held off on it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I can't, I can't wait to try that uh, on the Prima, that area where they have, like, the, the food trucks. And, like, you sit at the booth, and you they have, like, the little touch screen, and you order, yeah, like, whatever you want, and they, they bring it to your table. That that seems like a pretty cool idea to me. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I've seen how we crews do that on their first one. Yeah. Hey, guys, I'm going to go ahead and head out. I got yep. twin, twins are entering the area. All right. <laughs> later. Like, I'm not, Jeremy, yeah. I, might, yeah. I might go live tomorrow night at 10. Okay. Uh, I'm not too sure yet. Uh, we're going to go to celebrate our wedding anniversary at Six Flags over Georgia. Nice. So I'm hoping it all depends what I get to do there and how 
eat up, I might get. Yeah, you got. You guys will probably be tired around ten. Yeah, so I don't. I have no <laughs> idea. But hopefully, we're home. You know, earlier. Uh, I might have to take a nap or something to be uh to be ready at ten. So we'll see. But we'll try. We'll try to be up at ten. Cool. Well, uh, happy an- night, happy so. anniversary. You guys have a blast. Thank you. Thank you, sir. All righty. Good, good night, y'all. Good night. Good night. See you mañana. Yeah, that's what we're uh we're hoping to do. Uh, go away and hang out. Uh, she says here, Wonderland, well, it's wonderful. Just don't eat or drink anything because you will shrink and they grow real big. Alice in Wonderland. I, I haven't eaten Wonderland. I've seen it and I just never have. Uh, I videotaped it, but you didn't get never the my wife just trolled me. <laughs> we have a troll in the uh, in the chat here. It's a joke. <laughs> Alice in Wonderland. <laughs> Alice in one that I get it. Oh, there you go. No, now I got it. So how far are you from right, Six right. Flags? About half hour. Oh, that's not bad. No, no, no. Of course not. So it's where uh, I haven't been there in twenty three years. Mm. So we're about to. Uh, I'm about to to hopefully see uh, if I remember anything from uh, you know back in two thousand. You know, you know me being an old man, like Clark here says. Yeah, you know, he is. Uh, I know. I I met Paul Revere in person. Uh, I came in the Mayflower and all that. So, you know. So are you uh, you tall enough to ride all the rides? That's what I'm hoping. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm hoping. So he's got to sit on Alice's lap when they drive the train from the parking lot. <laughs> yes, and I like it. She gets me a massage. I get I get to to rub on her and go, oh baby. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Mike. See, now I got something to be happening tomorrow for me. Yeah, got something to look forward to. That's right. As soon as we get on, we hopped on that little train. Uh, I'll be, oh, baby, I'm going to get on your lap. Oh, my gosh. Oh, she's like, oh, my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> she's looking forward to it, too. So thanks, Mike. <laughs> late, late, late after dark. That's right. Well, <laughs> Talking about lay lay, I, I think we might uh, we might end up uh, packing it up. Uh, it's been a great uh, afternoon. Thank you guys for uh, coming in and <laughs> hanging out. Uh, hopefully, if uh, I'm gonna try to go live from the park tomorrow, depending on how things uh, work out with a with a with a phone, and uh, I'm hope I'm planning to do some videos there and stuff like that. I'm bringing my charger with me just in case I get lucky enough to. Uh, to charge the phone again a, a few times if I have to, and then uh, hang around and then I don't know. We're we're gonna we're hoping to be there at opening, and uh, depending how the day goes, we'll probably you know like six seven o'clock uh, be heading home. So you know we'll, we'll see how uh, how beat up we might be, and then uh, get home and get a, a nice nice sweet uh, dessert or something uh, to celebrate uh, a little bit of our of our day. So and we'll see what happens. And uh, you're gonna be able to walk around there, okay? Or uh, we'll find out. I um, mean, I'm, I'm hoping to bring my walker, but we are thinking of leaving the walker in the car and maybe rent a, a wheelchair or something there, so I could uh, move a little quicker. Right. Because, uh, it might be a hot day too, and and I might need. To, I don't want her pushing me around. You know, uh, I'd rather have if they have an electric one to grab one. Do they do yeah. they run scooters there? I believe so. Is that what you I, mean, I think most parks rent scooters. Most all parks yeah. do. Yeah. Something, It'd be something, uh, yes. Yeah, it's electric scooters, yes. So I'll probably end up getting one just to be, uh, even my first time uh, working on one of those things. So hopefully it be a, a nice treat, you know? So yeah, videotape that. Uh... <laughs> yes, <laughs> definitely, sir, definitely. So I could uh, uh, share that with you. Yeah, we can compare uh, notes, so. Definitely. There used to be a, a Six Flags in Florida back in the 80s. Uh, Six Flags Atlantis it was a water park. It had uh, mm-hmm. everything to do with, with pools, and it was an excellent. We used to go there in the summer, and, I mean, we did it for about three or four years. And then uh, Red, Radio Shack bought the land to build some kind of a, a plaza, big mall there uh, to mm-hmm. do with electronics and stuff. And eventually, he fell through because uh, Red Shack wasn't bringing the, the people to get in there. So they end up 
taking the whole thing down again. And uh, now it's, a, it's another mall there, but it's different sections. Uh, there's a big uh, Dev and Buster stairs. It's a uh, Home Depot. It's on uh, Sunrise Boulevard in, in Fort Lauderdale, where the uh, place used to be. But uh, from what I remember back in, you know, back in the 80s, that place used to be uh, jam. We used to go there, you know, me and my brother and his friends. We used to go there a lot, but unfortunately, that like Mall of America was that the idea? Like Mall of America? No, we've we've been to Mall of America, America in uh, Minneapolis. No, but I I met. Were they trying to duplicate that? Uh, like no, it that? was it was uh, uh, more open uh, oh, okay. instead of you know building floors and stuff like that. It was it was like different um, anchor stores with some right. stores next to it, but it was like in different island throughout the place, and I just didn't. Make a big hint. Uh, Radio Shack was the biggest one out of all of them, and you know what happened with Radio Shack? Uh, it went away. But right. possibly there's one or two stores uh, still around. Well, they're not company owned; they're uh, uh, family owned now. So, yeah, you know, still here. Yeah, yeah. So the Six Flags in Maryland slash DC used to actually be just an independent park called Adventure World. And then Six Flags bought it and turned it into Six Flags America. Yeah. It was Adventure World and Wild World. And... Yeah. yeah. I, I seen the entrance to that one. We've we never been in, in there. Yeah, I've, I've been, been to that one probably three or four times. So. Mm-hmm. I've, I've seen the one. We've been to the one in New Jersey. We know she tells me that we've never been. I don't remember. But... Yeah, but I believe that we, we've been there once. What's yeah, I've been to the one in New Jersey once. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, I think that's one that's supposed to be the best one. It's the one in New they Jersey. say that's the best one, right? Like, I have always heard that, too. They say I always said that was the best one. But so My son's been bugging me to take him up there. Yeah. It's the only one I don't I remember too much of it. It was a long time ago. My kids were little. so Yeah, it's the only one that I've been to. I've been to the one in Chicago, uh, Six Flags over Gurney, and uh, Six Flags over Kentucky. I've been to that one also. Um, Six Flags did a bunch of expansion because, like in New England, Six Flags bought like, like when they bought Adventure World in Maryland, and then they bought like four or five parks all over New England and turned them all into Six Flags parks. And then within like five years, they yeah, closed. They, them all. they did too much at once. Yep. yep, they closed them all. All every last. What happens a lot of these companies? They think they can. Uh, Blow up real quick, and and they just do it too quick, and don't think about all the. Uh, yeah, there was like Six Flags, Darien Lake, and um, like a whole bunch of them up in New England. They all closed. Well, that was one I was thinking about, Darien Lake, which is in New York. You know. Yes. Uh, yeah. Is it still Six Flags or? Uh, I don't know. It's definitely not Six Flags like anymore. Oh yeah. yeah. So um, if it's still open, but I know Six Flags bought all these New England parks, and then within like. You know, a couple of years. Yeah. I watch the videos every once in a while. I'm like the, uh, the one in uh, uh, New Orleans. When Katrina the abandoned one, one right? Yeah. yeah, the abandoned one that got like flooded in Katrina yeah. or destroyed in Katrina or whatever, right? Yeah. Yeah, but it's just. All right, my fellows. Happy anniversary. Bye bye. Well, congratulations, both of you. Yeah, it's, after, it's after midnight now, so it's happy. Right, yeah. It's okay. Yeah. It's my kiss. Huh? Come here. Come here, you sexy mama. Come here. Come here, coño. Look at Clark. Clark's like, oh, man. <laughs> let, me, let me put him back in place. <laughs> I'm allowed. I'm allowed. I could cry if I want to. I'm allowed. <laughs> Hi right, guys, thank you very right. much for hanging out with me. I appreciate yep. uh, you coming by. Uh, everybody, whoever's still here on the chat, thank you very much. We're getting there. It's time to uh, hit the sack. Uh, Eric B, thank you. Embarkation Nation, thank you guys. Uh, Mike and Ryan are gone already, but thank you very much for uh, hanging out. Randy, anytime. Uh, hopefully tomorrow night, if we're still yep. if we're here, come by, please. Scott, yep. Bruce, uh, Bruce Bet, Mike. Mike, Mike, because I need uh, I need to be on uh, in compliance on compliance, and uh, you guys uh, did it tonight. So and you, I, you need all the mics you can get. That's right. Yeah, <laughs> and I had two you mics. Have, too. You can never have too much. There you go. Right. Never, never, never did that. Scott, so. what what part of the country do you live in? 
I live um, just outside. Uh, so I live 20 minutes from Hershey, Pennsylvania, and okay. 20 minutes from Gettysburg, Pennsylvania. Oh, okay, cool. So right in between, right yeah. outside of Harrisburg. Oh, okay. In that uh, Abish land. Yep. I mean, I've been in the area. area. I got the Amish near me, too. Yeah, we got them out here, too. So. Yeah, well, Lancaster County is about 30, 40, five minutes or so for me that's amish like that's amish amish country right, right. yeah yeah i did that uh, bad boys there in lancaster many 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 years ago mm -hmm. and i remember uh seeing them coming in uh, with parts of a uh differential for one of them boogies to get a a part and stuff like that it's like you see them walking it's in and, it's extraordinary to be down there in lancaster county just you know just off to seeing them all and everything it's it's extraordinary that they live that way still so yep extremely extremely hard but they to each his own you know that's that's whether yeah. uh, uh get together and they do let them do it well yeah. guys good night okay. everybody good night Have everybody good night. thank you very much you're still all out of trouble remember ain't got no money for bail so if you get in trouble you're on your own Asked uh, Mr. Clark here for uh, some bananas. Or something. Right. <laughs> bananas or pineapples? That's right. And He'll provide the pineapples for you. I thought he was the pineapple guy. I'm I mean, the pineapple king. He's the one that carries them around. Yeah. yeah. He has what, that. What, what was that movie, Pineapple Express or whatever? Yeah. 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 <laughs> this guy, man actor right here. That's he used to be doing the doofies. Yeah. The good stuff. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Well, I gotta, I gotta head out. Go, to, uh, go take a shower and uh, hit the sack for the morning. Okay. So, fellows, you're good. Good night. Yeah. Good night. Good night. Good night.